The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. A technology company and an entertainment company are on the growth and income radar this time around. And our editor of our income investor service here at Zax, Brian Hamilton, wants you to know about these two companies. First one being Microsoft. Now, you've talked about them before. Yeah, I have. Uh, in, but they had some really recent news that you know really made me kind of really look again at Microsoft. Now, historically, they've uh, beaten both top and bottom line expectations for the last uh, six consecutive quarters. But as I was saying, is they made a huge splash on the acquisition side. They purchased GitHub for $7.5 billion. Now, uh, GitHub is a software development platform. Uh, it's used by 28 million uh, developers for coding. Now, they're coding for like social media platforms, uh, Apple, Google, Amazon. So it's a really well-respected uh, platform for the company. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I want to show you something that's really interesting here on our first slide. Uh, now, this is a massive acquisition for Microsoft. It's the third largest acquisition ever behind uh, LinkedIn and Skype. Now, what management is really wanting to do is uh, migrate these coders from the GitHub uh, platform to their Azure cloud-based platform. Uh, now, Azure is their fastest growing and most popular segment within the company. And uh, with the $7.5 billion, Microsoft's making a huge investment into this for the long-term gain for the company. Now, in the short term, I want to show you their price consensus graph because this thing is like the envy of most companies. As you can see here, since the mid part of 2015, we have been on a consistent, beautiful uptick angle here and more importantly, these glass here, year over year increases in annual estimates, giving us our continued growth story for the company. Now, with their Azure uh, cloud-based platform doing fantastic, and this new acquisition uh, expected to boost this going forward, mm -hmm. it's good. Uh, Microsoft looks like it's going to continue to uh, take off uh, uh, here. Now, the company also pays a really uh, decent 1.64 percent annual dividend as well. Yeah, not yeah. too bad. No, I know they've issued bullish guidance for fiscal 2019. Yes, that's a hit. So even more icing on that cake. Yeah, and that's what that gives into our, our long-term growth story with, you know, when we're looking at the price consensus graph, we can see the, the estimates are continuing to really go up here. And it's a lot based on their, their cloud-based platform, Azure, which is really being a big driver for the company and expected to be for the next several quarters out. Yeah, okay, Six Flags, what's going on there? Well, Six Flags, first of all, who doesn't like roller coasters and water slides? Uh, and this was really seen in their last two quarters where we beat the Zach's consensus earnings and revenue estimates. Now, they also saw a record amount of uh, season passes being sold. Management was also able to increase ticket prices and concession prices and food prices. And revenues were up over 25% year over year. But what analysts were really looking at, because the domestic side has kind of been waning, as we were talking about before we got on the, on the show, mm -hmm. um, they were really looking on their expansion level, both domestically and internationally. And they had two big announcements that you know, analysts really liked. I want to show you this slide here. On a domestic side, Six Flags currently has uh, 20 parks in U.S., Mexico, and Canada. But they purchased the leasing rights of five new parks, one in Houston, Phoenix, Buffalo, and two in Oklahoma City. So that really helps on the domestic growth side, but more importantly was the international side. Now, this is where they're really looking for their long-term growth. Uh, management announced that they're going to build three new parks in Nanning, China, to be operational by 2021. They have a park in Saudi Arabia. In, in April, they uh, announced that they're opening a new park in Dubai. Uh, and they already currently have a park in uh, China. Now, I want to, you know, when you take a look at this, you know, this is the news that analysts really wanted to see. This caused estimates, let me get off the little paint marker here, uh, to uh, significantly increase for the next two quarters. Uh, let's make this a little bigger so you can see it here. So we got increases for the next two quarters and the next two years because they're really looking at this international growth to be a big driver for the company going forward. Now, we also want to take a look at uh, their history of uh, beating these estimates. If we take a look down here on our Zacks page, we can see that they have been really consistently over the past several quarters been beating these estimates that are increasing as well. But there's also two other really important uh, parts of this story. They have $250 million remaining in their share repurchase program, and they pay a huge 4.47% annual dividend.
Wow. Yeah. So, so it's it is huge. Yeah, and we're coming into this the, the height of their season of uh, for their parks, obviously with the water slides and yeah, the, the yeah. roller coasters. Yeah. So we're looking at some really nice growth, and on the international side, it's going to give us a nice little growth story all the way out through 2021 when these uh, international parks start opening and they start seeing some more in, uh, improved revenues through there. Very interesting. Yeah. Do you own either one of these? I personally don't, but I've had uh, Microsoft and Income Investor portfolio for quite some time, and I just added Six Flags this morning, uh, June 7th, to the portfolio as well. Okay, thanks for all of that. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, more stock information always available to you on our website, Zax.com. All you need to do is get over to the homepage and start looking through it. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.